Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to extend greetings and good wishes to you all at the outset of this important and much anticipated conference, three times postponed because of the COVID pandemic. I'm doing so in a triple capacity, as Australia's National Soils Advocate, as Patron of Soil Science Australia, and most importantly for this gathering, as patron of the Soil CRC. I'm truly disappointed that I'm not able to join you in Adelaide for this first face-to-face -face participants conference since April 2019. However, as some of you may be aware, the dates that were finally able to be set for your meeting clashed directly with the 2022 National Landcare Conference in Sydney, where I have a long-standing commitment to deliver a plenary address and present the 2022 General Jeffrey Soil Health Award. My disappointment in not being able to attend your meeting is sharpened by two factors, missing out on a truly excellent program. And I extend my compliments to Dr. Michael Crawford and his team on putting together such an interesting and varied program, engaging many of Australia's leading soil scientists, researchers, soil and land managers. The second thing is missing the opportunity to engage and network not only with the CRC participant organisations, but with the wider group attending the conference beyond CRC participant organisations. This, for me, is an especially pleasing feature of the meeting, consistent with the spirit and the purpose of the CRC to foster collaboration between industry, scientists, farmers and the wider public. I'm also especially pleased to see the large number of PhD students involved in the conference, including a good number funded by the CRC. Their talent, enthusiasm and ambition needs to be managed and encouraged strongly and at every opportunity. Because, quite simply, this is a very exciting time to be working on soil, soil health, and soil and land management issues. All of them are moving up the policy agenda, nationally and internationally, linked in particular, but by no means exclusively, to addressing the global challenges of food security and our changing climate. The nexus between soil health and security and human health and security is also becoming much better understood and is changing policy perspectives and approaches. In Australia, we have a new national soil strategy and are working on the development of a national plan for its implementation, endorsed and supported by all jurisdictions. Globally, recognition of the importance of soil has never been higher, as was abundantly evident at the recent World Soil Congress in Glasgow, where I delivered a keynote address in a segment on soil securing humanity, humanity securing soil. It was also abundantly clear to me from meetings that I had on the way to the Glasgow Congress with the FAO, the Global Soil Partnership, and the European Commission Joint Research Centre for Soils, all of them committing significant new attention to soil issues and policies. So ladies and gentlemen, your discussions at this conference, including consideration of the CRC's future role and activities, have great relevance and value. I wish you every success with these, as I wish all participants and attendees great enjoyment of the conference. Thank you.